Underdog Fantasy is the best and easiest place to play fantasy sports and their pick'em game. Sign up now with code Poodle and you'll double your first deposit up to $100 in bonus cash when you make your first deposit of $10 or more. It's simple. Deposit $100, get $100 free. Good luck and have fun. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodleback with another Madden 24 franchise video, and today I'm going to be going over the top five franchises to rebuild in Madden 24. Before we get into the video, guys, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, comment down below your number one franchise to be rebuilding this Madden 24 franchise season. And if you haven't already, check out Underdog down below. Use code Poodle to match your first deposit up to 100 bucks. Now let's get into it. Before we get into the first on the list, which is an honorable mention of the Jets, it is not one of the top five, I want to mention my criteria. My criteria does not mean take the worst rated team in the game and that's the top five because that would be stupid that's just taking the bottom five teams i like to take a team that has some key pieces like generational type pieces that you could really build a roster around like a dynasty a super bowl winning contender right you could take the worst team you could build them too high overall doesn't mean their players are compete with the top other users in the league i'm talking online right my criteria is going to be franchise cornerstone pieces teams that i could see really making a turnaround with a few key moves but uh for me the Jets do not make the top five for one reason, one reason alone. Their acquisition of Rodgers and a few other pieces this offseason, potentially Dalvin Cook coming up, means they're a win-now roster. And for me, rebuilding is like, if I took the Jets, I wouldn't just trade or cut Rodgers. I'd want to use him for a season or two, which is going to delay my development of a quarterback, which I won't start till season three, maybe, or even four. And then I got to do that. Before I know it's season eight or nine, by the time you have the new quarterback here, this could really be a weird rebuild for me. But the roster itself, outside of them, could really be rebuildable so we got quinn williams key piece should be x factor superstar this year gonna be great sauce gardener is one of those pieces i'm talking about him him quinn and garrett wilson alone are three key pieces to build around dj reed jr is solid john franklin myers is solid Brees hall is another piece they're gonna have for the long haul that alone is enough to validate a rebuild elijah vera tucker moving on down we got mccall hardman which is he's getting older but he's almost 80 overall with a 96. He'll end up being a 99 speed at some point. It's just solid to have. You can't go wrong with having him like in the slot or even a fourth receiver. At least starting, you get the, you get the nice throw power at Rodgers. And moving on down, they have some of their younger guys too. Like Makai Becton's still there. At this point, he's been downgraded. I'm not sure if he's a useful piece at this point, but he's still there. And then if we move on down, Ashton Davis is getting older. But 92 speed, solid to start. Now, Jermaine Johnson and Will McDonald. Uh, Jermaine's a rookie from last year out of FSU. Will McDonald is a rookie this year. Two solid ends. You got all the pieces in place for a rebuild. So if you want to use this team as a rebuild piece, you probably want to trade Rodgers right away, get rid of him, acquire some picks, start the rebuild. And if not, you can use Rodgers for a few years. But remember, your rebuild's going to be set back to like year five or seven, somewhere between then, because you got to use Rodgers for a year, two or three, get a good draft pick. Hope there's a good draft at that point. Take a quarterback, build him, etc. But that's an honorable mention. First on the list, number five is the Colts. Now, the Colts, I actually kind of despise their franchise in terms of playing with them in Madden, not real life, but I, I'm not a fan of the jerseys. I'm not a fan of, the, like, the logo. I've never been a fan of that franchise. I'm not a fan of a lot of the pieces. The, the, the only reason they're on here is because they have, like, two or three generational-type pieces that validate being able to take this team to the top. It's going to take a lot of work, though. It's not going to be the easiest rebuild in terms of all the work you have to kind of, like, redo and reset. Quentin Nelson's there. You might want to trade him if I, if I was you, just if you're going to rebuild them. But Jonathan Taylor is the first of the generational pieces, 94 speed, 93 excel. He's a beast. He has power. He has weight. He's got speed. Generational type running back. Can't go wrong with him. DeForest Buckner, you probably want to trade. And this, this, is my, this is my problem here is that a lot of their guys also got downgraded. Buckner was downgraded. Shaq Leonard was downgraded. Uh, Jonathan Taylor was downgraded. So on top of that, like these trade pieces have come down and they're also mid-age ready. Like Shaq Leonard and Buckner are going on 30 so you can't really just be like oh they're 90 plus i'm gonna just rock out with them like they're already on the decline overall wise so you probably got to move on from them pretty early which means you're going to be set back in a lot of positions early but still worth it i would probably trade nelson buckner and Shaq, and grover stewart Pittman again 85 already like 24 years old only 88 speed probably want to get rid of him too but where this team really shines is going to be jonathan taylor uh some of their newer rookies which is going to be interesting to talk about here Julius Brents, their cornerback. Ryan Kelly used to be a pretty solid center. He got the ground downgraded too. Julius Brents, their corner, only 88 speed, but he has 95 excel, and I'm pretty sure he's like six foot three. So he's gonna be a solid corner. He'll get like 90 speed with 97 excel. He's super tall, I believe. He has great edge, he has great agility, he's super athletic. So Julius Brents, another good piece. So Taylor Brents. And then if we go on down a little bit more, Josh Downs, rookie receiver. Not going to be game breaking, not going to be game changing, but 92 speed, 95 Excel will be useful. Nick Cross is another one of those key pieces. I believe he's a sophomore or a third year, maybe. He's a strong safety. He gets up to 94, 95 speed when built with a 99 or 98 Excel. It's 
That's all I gotta say. He's one of the best user safeties in the game. And then you got Anthony Richardson. These are the key pieces right here. So 91 speed, 92 excel, 95 throw power. Richardson, Cross, Jonathan Taylor, and Brents are like your key three building uh, cornerstones. They have another few corners that are pretty fast as well that are young and or rookies. But those are the key four pieces right there. The problem being is that you're going to have to work a lot of trades to rebuild this team. It's not as simple as just like, oh, there's a lot of young pieces, build them up. You're going to have to work the trade market. But otherwise, Colts are on here at five. Coming in at number four on the list is going to be the Atlanta Falcons. I love their jerseys. I'm a fan of their logo. I'm a fan of their team, which plays a part in who I like to rebuild, by the way. Just keep that in mind. I'm a little biased with that. I don't like to build franchises that I'm not a fan of in terms of like liking them in Madden. But they have some key pieces here. They have great trade pieces as well. But I, this is a team that you don't necessarily have to just tear apart, which is what I like. You know, there's pieces here like usable. Like when it comes to guards, for instance, like I said with Quentin Nelson, you could trade him, you don't have to. They're a guard, they last to old age. You don't have to worry about their speed declining. They can really last as long as their career allows it in Madden, right? I'm not too concerned there, but you can also trade him, which is great. The fact you have a right guard that you can convert to maybe like a first round pick. I know it doesn't sound reasonable in real life, but in Madden franchise with an, an online user and or computer, you could probably you could probably swing it. Uh, Jesse Bates is getting on the older side, a piece that I don't think sits there forever, but he can help you compete early on and or trade. AJ Terrell, I believe, is about 25 now. He's a cornerstone corner, a cornerstone cornerback franchise piece. He could definitely stand stand for the long haul, long haul of the franchise. 92 speed, 94 excel, super solid. But here are the generational pieces. It's Kyle Pitts. Kyle Pitts alone is going to be the greatest tight end in Madden franchise pretty much year in and year out until he is out of the league and or falls apart declines and drops an overall 87 speed uh, 87 overall he's x factor slash superstar that's where he's kind of been i don't know if they drop him this year because he hasn't really performed in real life he hasn't well hasn't had the stats i should say but he can route run he's super tall he's a super fast head and he's a matchup nightmare him alone is worth picking the team for him and terrell and then if we move on down Bijan robinson 91 speed 92 excel a generational type running back build for madden not in terms of speed, but in terms of he can do it all. He kind of has like that Saquon Barkley build, slightly slower. He can catch as well. And Drake London. Drake London's a bit slower, but as we saw with the high ball meta last year, bigger wide receivers are still useful. This game could change a little bit, but I still, I still think it'd be useful. So the thing to note with the Falcons is that you got the shell. What I mean by that is you got the offensive shell. Like when you line up under center, you got the wide receivers ready to go. You got Drake London. You got Pitts. You got a decent O-line. You got the running back all you're missing is the quarterback that's where this team falls short is the quarterback ritter is too old he's i believe 24 25 years old at this point you, you shouldn't build him he has the intangibles to be built but i think he's too old i wouldn't risk it i would just step back and rebuild i would year one probably like i said maybe trade lindstrom maybe trade Bates. get some first round picks get a quarterback and suddenly you have a rookie quarterback hits london draft a wide receiver and you're ready to be john your offense is set for franchise we're gonna have to do work as the defensive side of the ball, but that offense alone is worth taking the Falcons. Next on the list, we got the Seahawks. Seahawks were one of the best teams last year to take two, although not as much as you might think at this moment now. They've kind of improved since. They have the right pieces in place. They have some older guys, but they have the right pieces in place to build a dynasty team. Bobby Wagner, of course, is way too old. You probably can't even trade him for much at this point. Probably just ride it out with him. Maybe get a mid-round pick for a contending team to take him. Tyler Lockett is old, but he's like that nice third string receiver to help with the quarterback you're gonna wanna try to build. DK Metcalf, generational piece. He's like 25 at this point, maybe 26. Gonna last the entire, entirety of franchise or at least long enough for you to have fun with him. Maxed out speed almost. He's got the height. He's gonna be great. Jamal Adams is getting older. I'd probably try to move him at this point. I have seen him last in franchises, but he's also started a little at a lower overall than he has in the past. So take that as you will. Probably would trade him. Kenneth Walker is the other key piece here. 94 speed, 94 excel. He's an 87 overall to start right off the rip, which is great because it means you don't have to focus on building him. That means you can then take a quarterback and build him because Kenneth's already built. Uh, Quadra Diggs, not important for me, in my opinion. But Tar Tariq Woolen, uh, DK Metcalf, and Kenneth Walker are the key pieces here on this page. And as we move on down, another few guys is Devin Witherspoon and Jackson Smith and Jigba. And Charles Cross, sorry. That core right there is awesome. Devin Bush down here is older, but he is super fast, still useful for a user linebacker. Devin Witherspoon, 91 speed, 93 excel. Rookie corner, 7-8 overall. Jackson Smith, a bit of a slower side, but he's going to be super good for franchise, in my opinion. So right there alone, you have a core to build around. I think you got the first round pick still in place. You got everything you're going to want to need. You have uh, Zach Charbonnet is a decent backup. Not that that's important for the build, but I think the team's ready to go. I think you need a quarterback. You got to replace Geno. At bare minimum, Geno could start year one. I think maybe, like I said, you trade, you trade one of these guys like Jamal Adams, package him up, see if you can get like a first, maybe a second round pick. 
get some picks back and then hopefully draft a quarterback you may need to tank your one really you're gonna need a quarterback one of my favorite teams for madden 24 rebuilding franchise is the texans something about them i want to bring them back to glory they have that appeal you know like to take that into account too that appeal like rebuilding the texans for me seems fun seems like a challenge that also has the youth now as we mentioned with the other teams there's pieces you gotta like kind of remove like you gotta get rid of the wagner you gotta get rid of the uh, jamal adams you gotta get rid of the quentin nelson potentially you gotta get rid of the shaq leonard this team is not like that everything you have in place probably isn't tradable so this is a strict team about just get stats and your team will build right Lar laramie tunzel is older but he's 95 overall he probably is superstar you could probably get edge protector on him that is a great cornerstone left tackle to protect your rookie quarterback he's gonna last like 35 36 hopefully maybe 34 gonna be great i wouldn't even recommend trading him i'd probably use him to protect stroud if you do trade him you probably something back but jimmy ward useless uh for franchise in my opinion shaq mason useless but he's a guard so it doesn't matter you can just sit there damian pierce i would not build i would move on from him but the key pieces here for me are gonna be all on page two so will anderson jr third overall pick now originally i was nervous because remember they lost the first round pick in the future but they reacquired one they have one from the browns still from the, with the watson trade so you still got your first so you still have the first that means you can still build forward will anderson jr is a beast 87 speed 90 excel derek stingley another young beast they're both 23 i believe or no will anderson's 22 stingley's 23 jalen petre is 24 i believe maybe 23 which kind of bothered me but 90 speed 93 excel so that's already three pieces there that can just put, I, I love nothing more than a young cut and paste playing build guy as long as he's on the field he's young he's going to build i hate when like they're i gotta really try to build them like these guys will build uh moving on down we have a few more key pieces for the team. john mechie rookie from last year 90 speed 92 excel solid rookie maybe he doesn't have the stats you want but he's young cj stroud one of the only 21 year is the only 21 year old quarterback of the top three gonna be a great rookie quarterback that's another key piece so once you have a quarterback the team pretty much ready to go from there everything else is just extra so he has the receivers and if we move on down a bit more, we have Tank Dell, another rookie receiver, which again, I think is, I think he's like 5'7 or 5'8. Like he's super tiny, but 90, 90 speed, 93 excel. I think he's super agile. Gonna be, again, a useful age-wise rookie. Now, the only thing to note with this entire franchise rebuild is this. Their players aren't game breakers. Like John Mechie, Tank Dell, Petre. Well, Petre's solid, but John Mel, uh, uh, Tank Dell, John Mechie, those guys aren't game breakers. Like Damon Pierce isn't a game breaker. You can build them, but they're not gonna be like, the top tier one like the christian watson rookie 99 speed six foot four guy but stroud gonna be great and will anderson i think that alone is worth the rebuild they're coming in at number two my personal number one favorite franchise rebuild team is the panthers they are lower they, they fit everything they're the lower overall team they have potential to grow they have all the piece they have like every cornerstone piece you would want to start a franchise already in place they seem to be built which i love uh they have Stuff that still needs to be worked on. I love their jerseys. I like their stadium. I, I like their franchise appeal. Carolina Panthers, right? Like they've always kind of been up. They always have those nice, uh, those blue jerseys. I think they have cool, they have cool alternates, etc. Right? But point is, Brian Burns, right off the rip, 87 uh, overall, 88 speed. One of the most athletic edge rushers in the game. He's only a few points, I think, like an upgrade or two away from edge threat. Sort of throw up, you have a franchise edge rusher, which is going to help the entire rebuild because when you have an edge threat rusher, your cornerback safeties and linebackers grow faster. Why is that? Pressure on the quarterback leads to more picks. Pressure on the quarterback leads to more stops, leads to less scoring. That alone is going to make night and day difference for how much picks the cornerbacks can get, how much points they let up, how many objectives on game day you hit. Brian Burns is a key rebuilding piece. Derek Brown is getting older. I believe he's 24, 25. He may not even have abilities anymore, but he's a right end. He's really DT, probably 3-4 right end. If you're going to do 4-3, probably put him at DT. He's okay. 84 overall. I don't know what you really do with him. He's kind of just there. Uh, uh, Moton is old, but he's a lineman. Uh, he's a lineman, so put him at right tackle. Right, he is no problem there. Adam Thielen, kind of useless as well. Now here's where it gets good. J.C. Horn, you have a franchise cornerback. He's only 83. Should be a little bit higher. 92 speed, 93 excel. Going to be great man zone corner, athletic. That's your franchise corner. So like I said, you have your franchise outside linebacker, your edge rusher. You have your franchise cornerback one. Jeremy Chin is your franchise safety. He'll get like a 95 speed at safety, and he's like six foot three. One of the best user safeties in the game. So right there, you have your franchise user defender for the majority of it. Corbet is old as well. Don't worry about him. Dante Jackson, I think, is a great trade piece. He's only 80 overall. He's like 28, 27 years old. But he gets up to like 97 speed, 96 speed, depending on if you can build him at that age. A lot of online users will bite to get Dante Jackson on a contending team to contend uh, to contest one of those high speed receivers. You could easily, especially in online franchise, get like a second or first for this guy. Good trade piece. Or you can keep him for the meantime. 
Uh, Ike Mekwanu, if I said that right, if he still has the superstar abilities, that is a franchise left tackle right there. Almost 80 overall, he'll get edge protector. He's going to be an elite edge. So you have, a, you have an edge protector tackle, you have an edge uh, edge start elite guy eventually, Brian Burns. That alone is the two key pieces on both sides of the ball. So right there alone, I love it. DJ Chark is too old for me to really care at this point for franchise. The other key thing is Bryce Young. Bryce Young is 87. 87 speed and 87 throw power both gonna be like double 90s starts with superstar abilities CJ Anderson CJ Anderson is too old I think in my opinion to be built too low but overall he's like 24 years old low overall gonna be tough it can be done with a great year but I wouldn't count on it Jonathan Mingo easily could be built to be a wide receiver one rookie out of Ole Miss gonna be 92 speed 94 excel decent jumping decent agility decent height and all the rookie other, all the other rookie wide receivers aren't really that great. He's actually one of the better ones, I'd say. And uh, that kind of covers up this team. Now there is a few honorable mention guys here, which are odd to, to use, but I like them. DJ Johnson, outside linebacker. He's 24 years old, but he's an 89 speed. And at some point on this list, we also have the guy from last year, which is Barno. I believe he's like a 90 speed at linebacker, or something close to that. They're both technically edges. I think they're too old to be built to edges. I would put them at middle linebacker as a user defender if you'd like, and have double 90 speed linebackers. So to recap, superstar, franchise, cornerstone, tackle, edge, quarterback, at some point wide receiver can be built, cornerback one, strong safety, and you have two 90 speed linebackers. This is the top team to rebuild. It almost seems like it's like unfair to say rebuild, but they are low overall. You have to still put the work in to build them, but they have all those pieces. And that was my criteria to start the video was do they have the pieces to do it? But guys, if you're after today's video, make sure to comment down below your favorite team to rebuild. And let me know if I changed your mind on any of these. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Helps a lot helping the channel grow. Subscribe. And of course, if you haven't checked that underdog down below, my code and link will be down below in the description. I'm out. Peace.